Aloha family. Aloha familia. Today we did an Instagram live video and showed you how to plant pineapples. We showed you our favorite method using cardboard. We also showed you how you can use this pineapple top to grow a beautiful plant no matter where you live. Instagram live video coming up. Aloha family. How's it going people? We are here on the farm and today we're planting pineapple. We're gonna show you guys how we plant pineapples. Inacompany.com. Check the link in the bio. Click it. And look, we have a uh, unique way that we plant pineapples here. But first, we are live. We live. Live on Instagram. Live on Instagram. <laughs> so look, we're going to wait for at least somebody to enter the room. There we go. Ill Nomadic. Starting to sprinkle. Aloha. We're waiting for at least a couple people to join the room. And uh, we're gonna go over planting pineapples here on the farm. I'll show you guys how we do it. Let me uh, tag, or what's it called, pin. What's up, Ill Nomadic Grubino Plants? I hope I said that right. All right, one second. Pinned. All right, we're a little later today than usual. It's his fault. It's starting to rain a little bit here on the farm, but look, we're here in the main garden. We have many pineapple patches around here and pineapples give so abundantly. Um, so we're just gonna continue to plant them everywhere we can and uh, and uh, show you guys how we do it. So the way we plant the pineapples is somewhat unique. Um, grab one. So we use recycled cardboard. And what we do is, the reason we use recycled cardboard is because pineapples, the roots, they love to feed off of air. They love the air. So this um, cardboard, grab one pineapple. This cardboard is gonna create an air layer underneath this pineapple between the, the cardboard and the actual dirt. And that's what the pineapple thrives off. So guarantee if you plant pineapples this way, you notice a difference that they grow much faster and they grow much bigger. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of how we've been doing that here. You could kind of plant these in like, almost like rock in a way, huh? They yeah, they don't much need soil. much dirt. Pineapples pretty much feed from the air. Mm -hmm. Even the uh, foliage here feeds from the air. They don't need much soil. I'm gonna give you guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing. All right, so we got farm help today. We got Rambo, Aloha. Hey, peace, y'all. We got Eleanor. Hey, how's it going? Planting pineapples. Have you ever did this before, El? I have, actually. I did, um, Pineapples for good old Drew. For Drew. Drew yeah. <laughs> did you plant them this way with uh, the cardboard? Not with the cardboard. No, right. but we did like peel off the ends and we did um, like small individual pots is how he grew them. Oh, inside pots. Have you yeah. planted pineapples, Rambo? Mm, i seen you guys do it before once, but not to this capacity. All right. He All right. Planted once. He planted some of these. Matter of fact, yeah, Rambo helped it us with these. Been that eventful, huh? So this is. Um, <laughs> about what eight months ago yeah. that we planted those mm. and now we're starting we're going into this new section here right now it's um it's kind of 
ending the pineapple season. So at the end of the pineapple's life, it gives many more little pineapples and that's what these are. And so this is the perfect time to replant them while we're still inspired by all of the fruit that the pineapple is giving. All right, so look, Asia, give an example. Okay. So, so we put the pineapple in the piece of cardboard. We already prepped the pineapple. Um, we peeled all of the, about an inch so worth of the leaf off and left it with this uh, exposed base. And these are little, if you can already see, this one has some roots growing. So all of these little nodules here, these are all gonna um, begin to grow roots like that. So basically peeling off of these layers just helps expose those roots more and encourages them to um, grow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna- So leave... one second, Asian, when you use your cardboard, make sure you tear all the tape off. Yeah. You don't wanna leave any tape on the cardboard. Um, less ink is best, or if you have a soy-based ink, but either way, do what you can. And uh, go ahead, show them, Asian. So we have already mulched this area. Um, just will help to retain the moisture here. And I'm just gonna make a nice um, hole here, enough to where I can get my cardboard under. And then I'm just gonna simply remulch it, just covering it. Yeah, so if you notice, she just put that basically right on top of the ground underneath this mulch. She didn't dig a big hole for the pineapple and stuff it in the hole. It loves that air layer in between that cardboard and the ground. And this mulch on top is gonna to keep that moist. That's what the pineapple thrives off. So if you put the pineapple in a dense and dense dirt, it will actually grow much slower than if you do it this way. Right. And we're planting these, we're making these dense. This is gonna be sort of like a barrier here uh, between the farm and this fence here. So we're planting them dense and they'll grow up, um, you'll barely be able to walk through there or to actually uh, see past this point to the gate. And we're just creating that as a nice barrier. We put a bunch of mulch here. This is nice, moist, rich mulch. And we're just gonna continue to plant these all the way down this row. These will give us many pineapples. They will give us, this is gonna take about two years each one of these but they'll give us pineapples and they will continue well, to give us little uh shoots some of these that are, we can plant are going to take about a year because some of these are the shoots off of the pineapples so um you can plant the pineapple top so the actual top that comes on the pineapple you can just cut that off peel it back and plant that or if you plant the pineapple top if you plant the pineapple top that'll take about two years um which is, you know, seems like kind of a long period. But once they get established, you'll have them and you'll have more pineapples than you can eat. But the after the pineapple matures and it gives you fruit, it produces these little shoots. Um, and basically these only take a year to grow. So these are kind of, you know, preferred once, but you have to first um, plant that initial one to get these, so. And look at that. So again, we're using cardboard to plant these pineapples. I'm not sure if this is a, a common way, but just uh, when we first did it a few years ago, it was our first time hearing about it. Um, what? Um, Conscious Rhythms, Logan, Roots Guan, he put me onto this method and uh, he has beautiful pineapples on his farm. So I followed this method and it works. Do we know which ones are white versus yellow? Or is it a surprise? All of these pineapples are white. So we pretty much are trying to grow only white pineapples. It's most preferred. We like those ones the best. And um, yeah, I mean, it grows just as easy. It grows just the same. So we've mainly, all of these are white pineapples. Oh, look at Rambo. You're already prepping. I know. This is wonderful. We got a system going on here. Look, it's uh, what, four people. We had to prep this whole area. So we had to weed this area. We had to prep all of the cardboard. So we had to cut it all up, make the holes. We had to put the mulch down and uh, clean the pineapples, just pulling the uh, leaves off the base, all of the dead leaves off of the base to get where we are now. So, uh, I mean, it's a little bit of work. You could do this uh, as an individual. You can do this by yourself or uh, you can have a whole team. You're just gonna get it done much faster. 
but this isn't nothing real heavy duty. You can definitely do this by yourself. And it's so rewarding. <laughs> I mean. The pineapple is a beautiful plant. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful plant. It grows a beautiful flower on it. And um, it gives you t some pineapples. Well, the flower is the fruit. The, 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 the flower is the fruit. Oh, <laughs> well, is pineapple technically a fruit? Well, to me it I is. I think it's, in the, it's a cactus. cactus yeah. What? That's why it doesn't need, like, you know, a lot. Oh, that makes sense. We got Look Timo. Timo. Fatima. Aloha. Her neighbor was growing pineapple in Miami. My, uh, you can definitely grow pineapple in Miami. What's the maintenance like on the pineapple? The maintenance is... <laughs> Good question. What's the maintenance on? You show them love and attention and they do the rest. <laughs> After you plant these though, it's really like no maintenance. They pretty much take care of themselves. Um, the only thing is weeding. Um, yeah. Just don't let the weeds close in on them too much. This is gonna be so dense, we'll pretty much have to hand weed this area, but um, I mean, it's not too bad. So a thick things. layer of mulch, it, it'll last for a long time. There's so much life in this mulch, I'm yeah. just looking at it. Mm -hmm. like, Rambo and I were talking about it. So much life. All right, aloha everyone. As you see, we're here planting pineapples. Whee! And uh, we're just showing you guys the process. Today is a farm day. And uh, we're gonna get this done. We're gonna plant what? What we got? Two four, hundreds six, of pineapples three, on this farm. Two, three, six, seven, eight, but within this video, this short time, we planted how many? Twenty-five so far. Twenty-five. Welcome everybody to the room. Thanks for joining us. As you can see, we are planting pineapples, white pineapples at that. And I don't think they have white pineapples anywhere else in the world. Tell them about the white Quote pineapple. Quote me on that. But, um, much different than the yellow. Much different than the yellow. I mean, the yellow, don't get me wrong, it's still good. But the white is is much sweeter. Um, it, it has a less acid, acidic taste like the white, I mean, the yellow sometimes have. And the best part is the core is edible. So unlike the, the yellow core, which is hard and you have to cut around and you lose a lot of the pineapple, the white, you can eat it. So that's the benefits of the core. why we like the, the white. The core is my favorite part of the white pineapple. So while we're here, I'm gonna give you guys an idea of a couple other ways to plant white pineapples or any pineapple. And you can do this wherever you are. You can buy a pineapple at the grocery store and you can, um, strip down that base after cutting off the top. And when you come up with this, I'm gonna show you some things you can do wherever you are to uh, just grow a beautiful plant. So, flip this around. So number one is, um, no matter where you live, you can do this as a house plant. But basically, this is just a, a, a planting bucket that we had laying around the farm. You will fill this up with, with, uh, with potting soil. You wanna use potting soil, use organic potting soil. And the, the main reason you wanna use potting soil is because it's airy. It can handle being in this bucket without getting too dense. If you just put regular dirt in here from the ground, it will get too dense. It won't let water drain through and the roots won't get through. The biggest difference with potting soil is it's more airy. There's more of a, uh, whether it's a cinder or a perlite, something in there to create more air in the, in the uh, soil so the, the roots can grow. So uh, you would put potting soil in here and you would do the exact same thing that we did in the ground. You would just do it in the pot. You'd put your pineapple in the pot and you would cover that top part with mulch and put that pot, it would like a warm place. So indoors would be fine. Um, or you can put this out, outside if you live somewhere warm in the winter time, just bring it in. And this will grow a big, beautiful plant. Um, Depending where you live will determine if it actually gives you a fruit though. So that's the only thing. This, is, this will give you a beautiful plant, but I can't guarantee you'll get fruit because it depends on the location you live in. But another thing you can do, um, El, bring me that glass. Another thing you can do, and you can do this right in your house. This is much easier. And this is, is beautiful right here. Take your, uh, a, a glass va vase, fill it with water, and just put the pineapple in and let it sit on top like that. Um, make sure that the, the base of this pineapple is touching the water. And this will grow into a fruit, a, a beautiful plant over this big, over two feet all around. And uh, the thing is, I can't guarantee that it'll give you fruit, but it will make a beautiful house plant. So that's a good thing, uh, experiment you can do is go to the store, buy a pineapple, cut the top, um, strip it down, place it in just a vase of water, and just let that sit on the counter. Change the water if you need to as time goes on. And um, 
watch watch how big and beautiful that plant grows. Yeah. I always wanted to do like a time lapse of that. I mean, before I lived on the farm, you know how people do time lapses, they fill stuff up and they just let it right. go over time. But yeah, it will be a beautiful plant. So there's a couple different ways. This is the preferred method that we use because we have the space and the environment that is conducive for the plant to grow at its best. Um, the second way that we showed you was in a pot, pot and soil, same method, pull back the um, some of the leaves off of the pineapple top, cut some cardboard, place that in there, place some more mulch on the top of that, let that grow. And then the third way is in some water, a nice vase full of water. The second two methods, um, even the, the first method, they, depending on your location, you may or may not get fruit, um, but it's still a beautiful plant nonetheless. So we encourage you to give it a try. All right, so now we're gonna show you some of the fruit from this whole process. Do we have a pineapple? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, get a little bit more mulch. Do we have a pineapple? We do have a pineapple. Where is it? That way. All right, so we're gonna show you guys a pineapple that's Follow actually me. growing and, and has given us fruit. Aloha, everyone. Again, we just walked through the process of planting pineapples here on the farm. This is actually the first pineapple patch we ever did. It's uh, somewhat overgrown, but it has given us many pineapples. We didn't do this with the cardboard method. So this is many years old and they just will continue to, the flower will continue to grow. I mean, well, the plant basically will continue to grow every year. Many little shoots will come off and then it will just continue to grow and grow and grow. So if you plant it, kind of make sure it is in the area that you want because it, it can't get much then. I do have a little pit stop, being that I've been talking so much. These are long gone. It's a long gone tree. This is a long gone. It's also called a uh, dragon, dragon eye. eye. Yeah. Look at that. They're in season right now. Mm. And because it's been raining so much, They've gotten really nice this year. The birds love these. If you get a bag of these and you with your friends and you let your friend hold the bag, by the time you get it back, them long gone's gonna be long gone. <laughs> oh my God. So look at that beautiful tree. It gives you thousands of fruit every year. This tree pretty much feels like it always has fruit on it. Oh, these are good, okay. Let's keep it moving. All right, so again, we showed you guys how we planted pineapples here on the farm. Um, someone asked, what was the purpose of the cardboard? So the cardboard is, uh, it increases the, the amount, or it makes the pineapple grow faster because it creates an air layer between the uh, pineapple roots and the actual soil. So um, we use the cardboard to create that air layer and pineapples, they love air. The roots love a nice, airy, moist space to grow. So that's why we use the pineapple and if you guys uh missed last week we did the ina fest we did a video leading up to the ina fest and um we we did a video recapping the ina fest so if you haven't seen it on our uh youtube channel ina company we just uh put the video up recapping the ina fest that we recently did and this is an old pineapple patch what this was this year couple years old or well no we did this one last year Okay. One year. All right, this one's a year old, and um, these are on their way out. So they're turning yellow. They're sort of dying off because we've already picked the fruit from these, and they're getting ready to be on their way out. But there's a couple more fruit just sitting in here that we haven't got to yet. So this and look, hold on, look how big and beautiful this plant is. Right. It will grow just like this, whether you put it in a pot or in a. Uh, vessel of water just like i showed you i think you may need a little bit bigger vessel <laughs> but, <laughs> but look how big and beautiful that plant is um so yeah this is the pineapple patch that we actually planted last year with our brother andrew ward so shout out to andrew for making this happen we did the same method we mulched it used the cardboard for each and now we have dun, 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 a perfectly ripe beautiful white pineapple mm. oh it smells so good smell it smell it 
So this pineapple is yellow on the outside, just like any other pineapple. But this is a this is a white pineapple. The flesh is not yellow like most uh, pineapples that you can buy in the grocery store. And to me, it's not as yellow. It's more. It's kind of a different color. It kind of has like that pink tint too, and it's not like. I mean, it's yellow, but it's not like the yellow pineapples. So look, uh, one way that you know if a pineapple is ripe it, when you go to the grocery store or even if you're picking them off the tree here or off the plant is uh, to pull the um, the a leaf from the center. And if that pulls out really easy, like what I just did, if it pops out easy like that, the pineapple's ready. But the ultimate way to know if the pineapple's ready is to smell it. If yeah. you can smell that sweet sweetness coming off that pineapple, then you know it's ready. It another, doesn't even have to be as yellow as this one. Yeah, I was about to say, another way to know is that once it kind of starts to, to turn... It will get 50%, it at least 50% of it turns so these, from this dark color here. These eyes here, like they're starting to be um, more yellow in the inside. Where Let me look at this one. So I'll give you a comparison. Like this one, these eyes are still much darker, not as um, yellow yet. But on that one, the eyes are, are getting much more brighter. So that one's gonna be riper sooner. But the ultimate is the smell. If it smells sweet, it's gonna be sweet. Look at this beautiful sugar cane. All right. So we showed you guys how we plant pineapples using the cardboard method. Oh, I forgot to show them the shoots. So I guess I'll show them from this one. So this one was a pineapple, which we already harvested, if you can kind of see there. And these are the little shoots that I was describing. So these things just kind of pop right off, just like that. They're begging you to plant them. And so this plant, this one plant gave me three of these. So imagine, I mean, you know, imagine how many of these that we have and um, that we could plant if we got around to it. But it, they give you so many, it's so abundant. So even though you only get one fruit that first year, please know that there's much more to come so yeah and then you would do the same method that we showed i'll give you an idea because we already had the other ones peeled look at this already got roots on it which is a great sign you're just going to peel this all back just like this we got a few people in the room for tima she says i love it we love you Love you, Timo. A hundred million. My mouth is watering. Look at those nice, fresh roots begging to go into the ground. Soul flower just joined. So you take that, do the method that we just shared, and you'll have a beautiful pineapple straight from the earth at your doorstep. Look at that abundance right there. Fresh. It don't get no better than that. I tell you, it don't I made get no better. I made uh, pineapple fried rice last night. Mm, it was so good. View of one, aloha, Coach Rez, aloha, brother. What's the deal, my Rez? Queen Me, XOXO, just discovered you guys, aloha. Welcome, welcome. Diva sixty-seven, eight zero one, aloha, sister. If y'all like these videos. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel because we have much more on different things. We have one on planting cane. We have one on planting lettuce. Um, what else we got? We, this one's gonna go up. Um, We're doing videos once a week on different parts of the, the process of us being here in Hawaii, farming, and just really the lifestyle that we live. Yeah. We just walking you guys through. Um, every week, we just kind of go off of questions people have been asking us throughout the week and uh, just things that we have to do that week anyway. Mm -hmm. We just basically record it and share it with you guys. So we just got that work done, and we were able to, to create some content to share with you guys and uh, let you be a part of it. That's pretty much what we've been doing. What we plan to continue doing from now on is uh, one, at least once a week bringing you guys here to the farm and just uh, showing you what we do. And make sure to let us know the things that y'all want to see. If there's anything in particular that um, you're interested in learning or you want us to share about our experience here in Hawaii or our lifestyle, don't hesitate to leave a comment here or shoot us a DM. We would love to um, give you all yep. the feedback that you're looking for. We love the participation. So we love when you uh, ask us questions. Even, even if we don't get to it right away, it's definitely, we got a list of uh, ideas <clears throat> and videos that we plan to make to uh, 
just get you guys right here with us. Pineapples are pokey, though. I'm going to tell you that. I just pulled a little poker on my finger. <laughs> but it's worth it. The pain for the pleasure. This smells so good. Coming up soon, we're going to do a video on uh, the tiny house. Oh. The tiny house project that we've been building. We haven't shared much of it lately on on uh, our social media, but we definitely have been working on it. Um, so pretty soon we're gonna do a video on the tiny house, that the actual tiny house. But um, even at some point, we're gonna do a video on the piece of land that we got there that we're building the tiny house on. Mm -hmm. And I'll really walk you guys through how we got that land, how we put ourselves in a position to own that piece of land there. Um, it's a beautiful story. Yeah, it's really. a beautiful story. Um, so pretty soon we're gonna make a video on that and show you guys and tell you guys about that process. The tiny house is coming along, I must say, thanks to this guy right here. He's and, doing a great job. And that's the first house I ever built. Um, that, it just started from my idea. <clears throat> I drew inspiration from my grandfather who was a builder. And uh, I mean, pretty much I just tapped into him the whole time. And I just, uh, I learned as I, as I went along and we came up with a beautiful thing. And we're gonna do many more. I think that's a beautiful little thing that you touched on that I just wanna to touch on. Is that basically when you wanna do something that you've never done or even that you've done before, you tap into the person that does it the best. So for him, <laughs> he like my grandpa was the builder. Like I'm gonna tap into his energy and I'm gonna use that to get it done. Don't be afraid to, you know, use somebody else's mind to make your dreams come true. Who's so, somebody you tap into every you? once in a while? <laughs> <laughs> I tap into them all the time. I always, I say, what would what Adonis do right now? Or I'll say, what would my mentor Lindy do right now? Or it just depends on whatever situation. What would I No matter do what right you now? step in, you, you tap into who was yeah. good at that, who was great at that. And you take a couple different people who was great at that and you put it all in one box, mix it up and see what you come up with. But don't be afraid to take good ideas from people who are, who are around you who are people you, who you have observed yeah. because again I wasn't a builder but I observed somebody who was a builder so I just tapped into that energy I just kind of told myself what would he do and I also just told myself Shit, if he can do it then I know I can do it yeah and I just use that as motivation to with everything I've done everything we do we follow that process we okay with that tap into somebody else who who does it somebody else who's good at it that's how we got this far we really don't we really ain't farmers <laughs> we really don't know what we doing honestly <laughs> <laughs> but it's for everybody that just came in we just got done harvesting a pineapple but before that we were showing how we plant pineapples here on our farm and a couple ways that maybe you can use to plant pineapples where you are whether you're looking for the fruit or you just want to enjoy looking at this beautiful plant adonis was born to be a farmer <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom. My mom is in the room and she knows me best. <laughs> and I know the rest. <laughs> mom knows the best and I know the rest. Yeah. Yeah, so again, at the beginning of the video, we showed some ways that you can use this pineapple top um, no matter where you live. You can go to the grocery store, buy a pineapple, and use this top to come up with a, a beautiful house plant and possibly get some fruit from, from it. So uh, go you know go back and we'll start from the beginning and and we'll walk you through how you can use this pineapple today and come up with something beautiful in your own house oh i got one too. forgot about this one. look at this abundance this food all around us we put in a initial work to get it started and now we're just harvesting the fruits from that labor this is over a year ago that we put in this work and not today you just watch, watched us do it again We've got hundreds of pineapples, hundreds, hundreds of pounds from this whole process. And, and we just do that, everything we do here on the farm. So we got a couple so people in the couple. room. Let's see. Any questions? Where we at? Thank you everybody for who's here, who's joining, who's been here. All right. Grubbing on plants. Mahalo, mahalo Nui, y'all, for sharing what you do and your aloha for the Aina. Such an interesting video. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you for being here. You make it more exciting. Right. Many, How many fruits are you currently growing? Mm -hmm. Good question. At one time, we counted, and we was like 60-something. 
Well, that was for everything that we grew on the farm. When I first okay, got to the farm. Okay, not only including fruit. Yeah. That was every plant that was edible here. When I first came to this farm, I was like, oh, man. I literally went around, <laughs> wrote down and counted every fruit. Every plant every that was plant already that was existing. growing on this farm. And it was like, you know, I was just super stoked to be here and just to be able to experience, like, food growing around me. So, yeah, but right now, I don't know. I would say probably around maybe like 15, 20 fruits, trees. We got pineapples. Long gone mangoes, bananas, citrus, um, papayas, many, cherries. many fruits. Yeah. We'll walk through it one day. We gave you guys a farm tour, which is on the YouTube, on our YouTube channel. But we will give you a more specific, like a, a actual fruit tree tour or something, to actually walk you through each plant or each fruit tree that we have here. A um, hundred million, thank you, Coach Rez. That that recipe to, that to the pineapple, pineapple. fry. <laughs> Honestly, it's, I was throwing it together. I was throwing it. You know, I got that. My grandma, my res. I was throwing it all together as I thought about it. So, but yeah, maybe I'll find one and send it to you. It says, can you please post a recipe <laughs> for that pineapple fried rice? See, now she got to do food I got to do a food video. Okay. Respect. Tubby Love, Respect. thank you so much. Yes, some good music. Tubby if you want Love. some good music, go follow Tubby Love Music, him and his beautiful wife. Tubby Love introduced herself to me at the at, um, Island Naturals right after we did the Ina Fest. And uh, it, it, when I left the store, I got in the car and told Asia about that experience of uh, him introducing himself to me. But at the, at the time I was telling Asia, <laughs> she was recording and doing a video <laughs> on me without Coming me knowing through. about it. So that's an interesting thing that uh, Tubby Love is in the is in the uh, room. But you were mentioned in this video that isn't out yet, but it's coming soon of Asia doing a prank on me. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, it's funny to me, but it, hopefully it's funny to y'all too. Okay, tap, tap into, into that, that DNA. Need, that's right. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you. Who was that that said that? Thank you, 100 million. Timo, Rez word, somebody said the energy y'all emit is phenomenal. Thank you. You a real one. You a real I one, honey. You honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's showing love. Yeah, she is. Donna, that was there was mama Donna was born to fire. Yes, he was. He was born to do it all. I'm convinced. The baller. Oh, the the ball. The the bald herbalist okay <laughs> i'm like the baller the bald herbalist thanks for the love what makes it pink yeah so the fruit um during the growing process oh, it goes through a stage that is pink oh, yeah. i can't explain exactly why that is but um it sure is pretty yeah it does go through a stage where it's even more pink than what you've seen at one point in the process it looks like it's glowing Lots of love. Welcome everybody. Such pieces. Can you please post the recipe? <laughs> <laughs> New viewers on on Instagram, but subby and YouTube. All yeah. right. Hey, we pl we got big plans for the YouTube yeah. channel. We're having fun with that. So much fun. Creating content is creating is fun. Creating content is like a whole new venture for us but we're having a good time and we thank everybody that has already subscribed and that will subscribe because we got a lot of good things coming coach rez got a good question he says adonis any fruit or veggies you recommend you you recommend a must for men and why yeah i think that's a beautiful question i think that's a great question um so what i'm gonna do is i'm definitely gonna follow up on that i'm going to um I'm going to touch bases and I'm, I'm going to give you some information on that um, at, at, at a later time or really coming soon. I'm going to give you some information on that. That's a good question. It's pineapple time. Yeah, here we go. You say hi. Anna May. <laughs> you know. You Why are you trying to act like... I just woke up, boys. <laughs> Why you, you act like your grandma. You know you want to smile what you trying to hold Look it at in. your hair. Curly hair. Look at it. It's growing. What color is it? Oh. <laughs> Look, what's that, Ina? Pineapple. You like pineapple? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gonna lick it? <laughs> it's green on the bottom. It's green on the bottom, yeah. What color is on the top? Mm -mm -mm. Purple. Vibes. Yellow. 
Aloha, beautiful hey, people. I was thinking about you today, vibes. I was like, I wonder if I was like, I was wondering if her baby was conceived in Hawaii, <laughs> but I don't uh, think so. I think so. No, I think that I think that they, they was getting it in before they came here. <laughs> okay. Okay. We thank y'all for sharing with us. It's much appreciated. Yeah, we thank you for being here. It makes it what it is. I notice we get more hearts when Aina shows up. Look at that. Everybody loves you. <laughs> All right. There she is. Everybody saying hey. Okay, I bet the pineapple is. This is it's gonna be so sweet. You can smell it. I can smell yeah, that I pineapple can smell it right, right now. now. Uh, I love you. Love you. Y'all are beautiful. Thank you, Armand, Armand Pathmaker. Pathmaker. <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> she laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you got an answer for that question, Vibes? <laughs> All right, I know. <laughs> All right. All right, so this. again, we walked you guys through the process, how we come up with this beautiful mm -hmm. fruit here on the farm. Um... Be sure to check out our YouTube channel. We're going to have more content on this video and also many other subjects um, that just relate to the lifestyle that we live here in Hawaii, from Detroit to Hawaii. Um, be sure to check the beginning of this video to, to, to see the method that we showed you guys today. Rambo's already editing it. <laughs> and look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And it will give us abundance of good food. Real food. Aloha, everyone. Anything else, Asia? Any more questions in the room? Anybody uh, want to send a request and join the room? You can always do that. Pre, what did Bob say? Pre Hawaii. You <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh. The best pineapple I ever had was from y'all. Excited for the channel. Thanks, Vibes. Midwest family, Chicago here. What it do? G Town, yeah. all the way from the 313. Anybody else from Detroit? Anybody else in De from Detroit in here? So we're going to finish up some farm work and continue on forward. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you for the love. We love the questions. We love to see that you guys are interested and uh, feeling inspired by what it is that we're here doing. Um, we got some good questions today, and I'm going to follow up on a couple of those afterwards. Anything you want to say to the people, Aina, before we go? They want. She want to climb a tree. That's what she said. You want to climb a tree? Yeah. You yeah. like climbing trees? Yeah. You good at it? Yeah. Who taught you? My grandma. Your, Your grandma? grandma. <laughs> Your grandma taught you how to climb trees. She always say, I, anything I ask her, who taught you that? My grandma. Your grandma taught you that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your grandma's in there. You want to say hi, grandma? Say hi, grandma. Hi, grandma. Did you taught me how to climb trees? <laughs> <laughs> I think I said yes. You think she, she said, said yes? Yeah. I think she did, too. She probably would say yes, knowing your grandma. Family. <laughs> Aloha. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And we're going to catch you guys next we'll see time. see you on the next one. On the next video. Whee. Later. Aloha, family. Yeah. We use cardboard and... <laughs> <laughs> the cardboard. Using cardboard. Sorry. <laughs> one Instagram. <laughs> take over yeah go ahead <laughs> but you started talking no i like, did <laughs> you guys just did it you guys